Good day, this is Jim Pytel from Columbia Gorge Community College, Renewable Energy Technology Program. This is EET 121 Digital One. Today we're going to discuss Boolean analysis using SOP, POS, and the truth tables. Okay, recall that the result of a sum of products expression is one for certain combinations of bits. If we list all possible combinations of these inputs and place a one in the output column for our predetermined uh, pre predetermined um, the bit combos, we can make a truth table. This is why the standard form is necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an example uh, sum of products expression and a blank truth table and we'll go ahead and work through this. And there we go. So it looks like our sum of products is not A and B and not C or A and not B and C is equal to our output x. So what are the bit combinations that are going to give us a 1? Well, in this case, it's going to be a 0, 1, 0. In this case, it's going to be a 1, 0, 1. Taking this for an example, if a was a 0, a not a would be a 1, our b would be 1. And if our c was a 0, our not c would be a 1. So 1 and a 1 and a 1 is equal to a 1. So get it? So now what we're going to do is, like I said before, basically we're going to place a 1 in the output column for all our predetermined combinations that are going to give us a 1. And it's going to look like this. There we go. There's only two possible combinations that are going to give us a 1. The rest of them are zeros. Okay, so basically we've just used the sum of products expression to create a truth table. Now, product of sums, it's the opposite. So down here, this is SOP up here. So product of sums is the opposite. Certain combinations make this expression a zero. So we're going to create a truth table with our zeros. So let's use this example right here. And what are the bit combinations for A, B, and C? Because remember, our domain is A, B, and C. Um, are, that are going to give us a zero. Well, it's going to be, for this one, it's going to be a zero, a one, and a zero, because a not b is going to give us a zero, and a zero, or a zero, or a zero is a zero, which will give, make the whole product expression equal to a zero. So again, it's zero, zero, one, 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 one. So like I said, product of sums is the opposite. Certain combinations make this guy zero create this truth table with a zero for these bit combinations. So zero, one, zero, it's right there. Zero, zero, one is this guy right here. One, one, one is a zero. The rest of them, well, let's highlight those ones that are zero. The rest of them are ones. Because if you put in these bit combinations, I guarantee you'll get an expression x equaling 1. Okay? Now, knowing all this from the sum of products and products of sums, so you can create truth tables, you should be able to have a truth table and go backwards and get the sum of products expression or the product of sums. Depends on whichever one you want. So let's go ahead and use an example of a truth table right here. And here we get this random truth table, and we want to know what our expressions, uh, the logical expression would be. Okay, we're going to look for, first, let's find the SOP. So SOP, remember, was the ones. We're going to look for ones. Convert each one in the output column here to a product expression of the variables that make that possible. So here's a one. There's a one. Another one. And another one. Looks like we're going to have four products. Okay, this first one here is going to be not a b and c because if you think about it not zero one and one is equal to one and one and one which is equal to one okay so using that same scheme looks like it's going to be a not b not c and in this column right here it's going to be A, B, not C. And the next column, A, B, C. And you're going to put all these guys into, these are our product terms. So what do you got to do? You got to summate them. 
So it's going to be that is the sum of products expression for this particular truth table. Now, uh, product of sums, it is the opposite, converting each zero to sum and multiplying the results. So let's use the same truth table and determine what our product of sums. I'm going to go ahead and actually move this down here so we'll have some room. So product of sums, we're looking for the zeros. This, this guy, this guy, that one, and this one right here. So what are the sums that would make those zeros possible? This one, A or B or C. A or B or not C. A or not B or C. And in this one is not A or B or not C. So these are the sums. And all we got to do is multiply those together. And there you go. And that equals x. OK, so one of, the things to, one of the things to highlight here is both the sum of products and the product of sums, we use the same truth table. They're equivalent. They're going to give you the same result. What is the sum of products? It is going to be a bunch of AND gates ORed together. In this case, it's 1, 2, 3. Four, and these have three inputs, where some of the inputs are inverted. I'm just going to do this first one right here, where it's inverse of A, B, and C. And you go through, fill those out. So it's basically a bunch of AND gates feeding into an OR gate. What is the product of sums? It's an AND gate with a bunch of OR gates. And these are three input OR gates. And I'm just going to do the first one here. This one be straight up A, B, and C. OK, so if you remember from our simple programmable logic devices, you know there's an, an array of AND gates, an array of OR gates. That's why they're this way, because you can do either the sum of products or the product of sums. OK, so we're going to move on to Karnaugh maps. And one of the things that we just, uh, one of the key, home, key take home points from this thing is just remember that these are standard expressions here. The, all, the domain, all the variables in the domain are in these things. And yes, you can simplify them later on, but they are standard expressions. And it's just a pretty easy systematic way of determining what sum of products expression or product of sums from a given truth table. Okay.